Hi, my name is Katrine Enge and I am a Danish crime author sending you a greeting from my home office here in Copenhagen for all Dutch readers to let you know that this book has just been published in Holland. Glasenflogels, I hope I'm saying that right, is the second volume in the Copenhagen series about Jeppe Körner and Anita Werner and it can be read independently. Um, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the book since I cannot come to Holland at the moment, which I would love to. Hopefully I can come this fall. But um, for now, I just wanted to tell you about Glass and Floyds just a little bit. Um, it opens up with the body of a naked woman being found in a fountain on the pedestrian street of Copenhagen, one of the most busy streets in all of the country and she is lying there with strange little cuts in her arms and has bled to death and the discovery of this uh, dead body leads the police into an investigation uh, of the uh, psychiatric uh, system in Denmark and particularly that which includes uh, the youth and children and it is a, a, a how would you say, a, a kind of a, a society, society critical um, crime novel. Uh, it's also a very character driven novel. Uh, and I think actually the title gives the very best clue to um, the, the theme of the book. Um, a glass and floyds, at least when you say it in Danish, the Danish name Glesvinge, is a small butterfly, seemingly insignificant, insignificant, almost transparent. It looks so innocent, but it lives on the poisonous night jasmine plant and stores the poison from this plant in its own body, thus becoming lethal to its predators. In other words, that which seems to be the most fragile and innocent can sometimes be the most dangerous. And that's how it goes in this book. I hope you want to uh, read it and I hope you're going through this crisis in good spirits and I hope that you're reading a lot of great books because uh, if nothing else, we can use this time for that. So warm greetings from Copenhagen. I hope to see you this fall.